Watch the woman who looks like she could be your grandmother. Just as soon as she disappears behind this door, a man moves in and boots her parked car. When she came back, she was stuck and facing a tow. And she didn't have the money for it, no ATM cards, she didn't have cell phones. We'll so. show you how this part of the story ends in a moment. First, let's get to the why it happened. Sir, do you have a Tom Loftus is the manager of this South Boulevard strip mall. Okay, then I'm going to ask you to leave. He didn't want to see or talk to us. No, I'm not going to talk to you. So we moved to the public sidewalk and watched. Two minutes, I walked back out of the door and got a boot on my car. Tim Funderburk wasn't alone. Car after car was booted. That's a disgrace if you ask me. Everyone who parked in front of the license plate agency and walked in the door got hit. He told me I had to come here and get $50. 50 bucks a pop to drive away. When you saw that going on, what were you thinking? I was horrified. Sandra Elliott owns the license plate agency. She's been here for 20 years. She says her customers have become targets in recent weeks because that mall manager who wouldn't talk to us told her her business is too busy. Uh, he decided that uh, one of the reasons he couldn't lease, lease the spaces was because my customers were taking up too much of the parking. So up went these signs, no DMV parking. When I complained that I thought this might be violating my lease, the property owner then terminated my lease. She has to be out by August. In the meantime, digital towing was brought in to boot. But there was a problem. This booting was being done in violation of city ordinance, which says Signs must include the name and address of the booting company. The information wasn't there when we first showed up last Thursday. Police came to point that out. The booting stopped temporarily. New signs, though, are up this week, and the boots are back on. Police were also called back out. This time, on a complaint, Deborah Legrand was trespassing. So they're threatening to arrest you because you were warning people? They're, they're going to arrest me because I'm warning people not to park there. She wasn't arrested, and Deandra Alex didn't get the warning. Instead, she got the boot. Outrage. She paid her 50 bucks and then noticed that woman we showed you earlier, the one with no money who was about to be towed, the one who, as it turns out, was also holding a handicapped parking sticker. And they still were like, regardless, we need the $50. So they just sat there and just stared at her. And Deandra had seen enough. She went and got 50 more dollars to set the woman's car free. Yeah, I would want someone to be to do that for my mother if she was ever in that situation. So I just feel like you should just pay things forward.